Uh, hey, gonna hand it over to Mr. Magnitude X now, who's got some great questions. I think you gathered from some community members, so fire away. Yes, uh, earlier in the week, I actually put up a video on my channel, just kind of opening it up to the community, because uh, Esco and myself, Shenmue and Rainy we, and Squiddish, we have a huge kind of like following on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So I uh, opened it up. We, I just asked, like, you know, just put your questions in the comments. And basically, like, the three uh, top questions asked were, um, with the new game modes, Deathmatch and Artifact, and we all know that Manhunt and Wanted is coming back, and I think you may have let it slip that Alliance, it might be coming back. Alliance, yeah. <laughs> might have earlier. Yeah. Um, is there any other kind of game modes you can maybe allude to or tell us or... Well, talking about Alliance, I was um, talking about game modes that uh, basically um, are focusing more onto the Predator-Prey flavor, like Alliance, Manant, and uh, Wanted. For returning game mode, for no one, we've uh, all the format that we've, we've got um, in the beta. And regarding previous game mode, I think it's still things that are like not 100% sure. Because, um, well, there's some mode that people like, like Alliance, um, and some over that we've we've been keeping for ourselves that you know uh, we've been working on, and we're gonna try. Um, basically, we're gonna try to to get them and uh, as a highest um, possible level of polishment. And if those game mode are like pretty effective, working well, and playtests are positive, we may you know try to throw them in and see how people react and how it is. And basically, we're gonna follow up a bit what we did on uh, on ACB where we tested a lot of things. Uh, after the game's launch to, you know, DLC and sending them to the community and getting, you know, feedback from players. So now we've pretty, we gather a lot of experience uh, on playtest. So mm -hmm. we're going to see, we're going to see basically if uh, during our playtest session and with our top players or during beta, if we want to do some tests or not. And then it's going to, we're going to end up with a final number of, of game mode. Things that we want about them is to get sure that, um, we spend time refining or working game mode, and at the same time, we had some new flavor like uh, Deathmatch or Steal the Artifact, which is basically completely different from things we've got in the game before. Okay. okay. So it's, um, it's kind of a neat balance. You know, we, we've got good things and we want to keep them in, but at the same time, we also want to you know, shake things a little, a, bit, a little bit, so we want to move <laughs> on and add some new, new stuff in order to see well, what, guys you, what, what you think about them, guys. Okay. Um, another question that kind of arose before this uh, uh, chat uh, started is the deathmatch mode. We actually have four to eight playable characters, and in the beta, you announced that there are, are going to be nine personas. Mm -hmm. So, um, in the kind of the reveal that was on uh, a couple of weeks ago, you stated that there's going to be no skin replicates, so no uh, similar personas. So kind of how is that going to work with uh, the deathmatch in per se? Because if you have eight players and there's only one persona of each of that person, does that mean there's going to be just one persona covering the entire map? No. Uh, that, that's why, <laughs> Good question. That's also why we've got, uh, basically, uh, I think the deathmatch on the beta is going to be locked at uh, six players. All right. uh, okay. I'm not sure that it's going to be eight. Um, on, from the top of my mind, it's going to be between four and six. Uh, the way it works is uh, basically you're not playing on an entire map, but on a map that is a, like that is uh, a bit more little. I, I think it's uh, about one third of a normal map. Yeah. And the way it works is you don't have uh, any beacon, any radar. Uh, you don't have anything. You just have the portrait of your target. And your target is the only one in the map, so you're gonna have to pay attention. It's a super uh, active, greedy, and you know hardcore mode where basically it's like killing fast every single second. You, the, the abilities you choose to use usually are like pretty offensive, and it's something that is really fun. Uh, it's really fast-paced oriented. It, it changed a lot versus wanted. It's it's not something that we think that players gonna maybe you know like play for hundreds of hours. Maybe maybe they, they're going to do that. But it's super cool to learn the basic mechanics of the game. And when you're uh, a regular player, it's like one of the funniest mods we've got. Like during our last press tour, I know that journalists had a blast on it because it was like, you know, just changing the mood. And when you want to get to have fun, it's like a super cool mod. So in the beta, we're going to have like nine different, uh, um, I would say, avatar characters. And you're only going to be able to, to select probably six of them, which means that, you know, there's mm -hmm. gonna be there's gonna be a crowd, and because it's only a one-third layer map, 
uh, it's going to be easy to to spot your target if you're taking uh, if you if you're paying attention. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think um, I think you guys actually have a, a a name for something similar that you've come up with yourselves, right? Like a <laughs> super pro. Super pro. <laughs> 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 We have to do Super Pro on that mode. We gotta try it. How do you get through me and Shenmue's questions without Super Pro coming up? Really? <laughs> <laughs> being quiet, all of a sudden Super Pro just comes out of nowhere. Can you guys? Can you guys? Can you guys describe for everybody what Super Pro is? Oh, Shenmue. God, yes, you bet I can. <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna touch step on his toes. Go ahead, Squid. <laughs> oh, Super Pro is effectively. Points are completely irrelevant, and the player with the most kills wins. So it's basically you do not let go of right trigger, you bring a gun, and debauchery is pretty much the summary of this game mode. Stunning. You do not care about your own life at all. Day. Ability assisted stuns are strictly forbidden. No smoke stuns, no charge stuns, rainy. I don't know what Yay. you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped bringing smoke to Super Pro. <laughs> no, you I charge, just use sprint boost. On everybody. <laughs> and in the event of a tie, the player with the least points wins. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and if you get Bolus any incognito bonuses, you, you're disqualified. <laughs> oh, well, well, assassinate yeah. kind of morphed that whole thing because you'd get incognitos, <laughs> full sprinting yeah. at people, jumping off a building, <laughs> combat rolling and diving through a stall, breaking through a wall, tackling 25 <laughs> NPCs and getting an incognito kill. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, it's. It's definitely a strategy that can work in that mode. <laughs> 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 All right, thing, is, thing, is, thing is, it's super close, and everyone is trying to do the exact same thing. So usually, it's like yeah. you know, it's a, it's, it's a be some effect. epic match. Yeah, it's yeah. Good manage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, any more questions? Like two? Uh, just two more. Um, one of the questions was: Are we going to see split screen mode for multiplayer? Uh, maybe if we got an alliance game or maybe a manhunt game and you want somebody that's I, I, with you at home. Okay, I could have worked on a super politically correct uh, answer, but the right answer is no. We no. won't yeah. have, no, 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 we won't have split screen. And right now it's for, I would say two reasons. The first one is technical because, um, well, it's not easy to, to pull that out uh, in our game, especially because we've got like uh, tons of uh, animation, tons of replica on every screen. Like one of the huge challenge we've got uh, with the multiplayer in was to to create a, um, a crowd of about 100 characters uh, that would be visible at any time on any computer. And so it means that you've got 100 of entities that are moving in everyone's screen, even if you know, you're not playing like in the same room. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a challenge to tackle that down. Usually in multiplayer, you won't see that a lot, uh, especially because the crowd is like something you can use. You can blend in the crowd, you can do tons of stuff with them. So it's not something that, it's not a props, it's a real crowd. Yeah. It's moving with an AI and everything. So it, mm -hmm. it, one of the challenges to have a replica on the same screen, which is like hard. Second thing is that um, it took a lot of time and between ACB and ACR, we really focused on, you know, delivering like the best experience possible. And we thought of throwing out like new things and trying out new things, but um, it requires a lot of development. So I won't say that we don't have like engineers or people working on different things uh, in Q&R and, and in research and everything. But uh, in Revelation, it's sure that we won't have split screen. And it's honestly, it's something that is kind of hard to, to do in multiplayer games nowadays. Even if a couple of FPS did it, usually they're playing with, you know, low texture, they're playing with, you know, uh, really simple, uh, I would say, uh, the, the amount of polygon they put in this kind of cop mod are really low compared to the kind of thing we're using in Assassin's Creed. So um, we don't want to, to lose, you know, the, basically the, the visual quality and the edge that we've got. Uh, on that side in order to be able to play co-op but especially because we know that uh, even if a lot of hardcore players are requesting co-op from what we can see uh, in players behavior uh, a lot of players tend to, to play from their home on you know on whether on xbox live or psn instead of uh, playing with friends so mm -hmm. yeah okay. it takes it takes a lot of horsepower to put two yeah. different because because when you have two different perspectives even if it's on the same game it's it's more or less two different games that's yeah. it yeah so, so I mean, and and especially with Assassin's uh, multiplayer, you know, the, one of the one of the big revolutions of Assassin's Creed was that we had these like really interactive crowds, like even in the single player, like all and all of those crowds have behavior to them and things like that. Um, 
that takes a lot of processing power. So when we bring that over to the multiplayer, it was honestly like a pretty, pretty amazing feat because if you look at most other multiplayer games, they do not have these huge crowds of NPCs necessarily wandering around. Um, certainly, like most first-person shooters, do not have NPCs of any kind. kind yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, you look at you look at say like uh, Gears of War, which has like a, which is like a cover-based shooter that is you know doesn't doesn't have any NPCs, but in our game we have some cover. But that cover is moving people, <laughs> so yeah. it takes a lot. It takes a lot of like, uh, it takes a lot to like get that going. So to double it, it's not like we we wouldn't want to try to do it, but it's just going to be more difficult, I think, than than people just immediately expect. Yeah, to to put that in a in a single in simple way is um, if I put a props like uh, I, I would say like a rock on a map. Um, basically, when you're loading the map, every single person got that rock at the exact same place mm -hmm. because it's like that on the map. If I'm putting a character that is moving, I have to get sure that at any single time he is at the same place on every single person's computer. And usually, it's something that is just generated by your console. So we have to get sure that all the consoles are talking together and getting sure that every single person is at the good place at the right time. And when you do that for 100 characters, it's like, yeah, wow, it was yeah. A, a super tough <laughs> challenge for NC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And suddenly, we need way more bandwidth. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. That's yeah. it for me. That's all the questions you got. Yeah. All yeah. right, then.